Welcome to my webinar, Cleaning Essentials. My name is Jody Adams. I'm a licensed massage therapist. I have a passion to teach people on how to use doTERRA essential oils for more of a natural approach to health and wellness. So before I get too involved in the clean essentials, I'd like to take this moment to share a little bit of my why. My why is my brother, Jason, which years ago he had a brain injury. I actually became a massage therapist to help support him the rest of his life. And throughout my career, I've went to different seminars and classes to learn different techniques, modalities um, to really help support him. And then I got exposed to doTERRA essential oils and I was just blown away on how the oils could help support him as well. So after my first exposure, I just wanted to learn as much as possible about the oils and to get as many oils on people as possible and then also educate them on how to use the oils. So I want to urge you to really share with people your why, no matter what you're passionate about, you know, tell people where you're coming from, share your why. And I'll have other videos to really dig into my why. So let's get started. So whether you clean your own home or have a housekeeper because you know life gets crazy or you do a combination of both, I am sure that two things bother you the most, filth and chemicals. Unfortunately, most people are using common household clean cleansers like detergents, hand soaps, or dish soaps, etc., which are often filled with harmful ingredients that put you and your family at risk. Remember, ignorance is not bliss. It comes to cleaning your, your home. So when there's alternatives that are not only safer, but also more effective and cheaper than what you are accustomed to using right now. I will never forget when I was first exposed to these alternatives. It was such a relief for me because my cleaning supplies always fell short of my standards, even though they cost me a pretty penny. So certified oils. Essential oils are effective. They are highly concentrated, 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. Now, how powerful is that? So remember, a little goes a long way. Just because they're powerful and they're effective doesn't mean, oh, we'll do one drop, we'll do a few more. Remember, one drop is all you need. Okay. I'm about ready to share some research I found from www.womanvoice.org, which is a great website for anyone interested in learning more about health-related studies and toxicity. I don't want to scare you, but there are real risks that everyday cleaning products create for those who use them. Recent studies point out to certain clean, cleansing, cleaning chemicals having a leak to asthma and reproductive harm. Children, pregnant women, women trying to get pregnant are those who already have asthma are especially vulnerable to these chemicals. Also, just as alarming, children are often the most vulnerable to chemicals because their organs and immune systems are not fully developed. As much as such, certain chemicals may interfere with a development of their neurological, endocrine, and immune systems. That's pretty scary. So a pediatric problem that can be detrimental to even their adult lives. Stay far away. The overuse of disinfectant chemicals in our homes has contributing to the growing problem of resistance bacteria. More commonly known, are you ready? Superbugs. How many times have we heard that word? 
The truth is that it's most households, the needs for routine disinfectant is rare. Scientists agree that castor oil soap and water are effective for most routine cleaning jobs. And research has demonstrated that safer alternatives of disinfectant properties that may be used in place of these harmful chemicals. Also, other steps can be taken to prevent the need to disinfect in the first place. We know very little about long-term health impacts of this chronic exposure to chemicals in the house Cold cleaning products, while additional studies are needed to, in order to fully understand the safety of using household cleaning chemicals over a course of a lifetime. The potential health impacts associated with exposure to certain chemicals present a significant cause for concern. Are you concerned? I know I am. I am going to share with you some of the most common cleaning products that are probably in your supply closet right now, and then we will dig into a more safer alternative to clean your house. Okay, so how many of you, you can go right now and look, have bleach? It's commonly used to treat drinking water, sterilize swimming pools, and to whiten laundry. Yet, it, it is known eye, skin, and respiratory irritant. Mixing bleach with other cleansing like ammonia can release dang dangerous chlorine gases into your home. This exposure can cause coughing, shortness of breath, chest pains, nausea, or other additional symptoms. So how scary is that? There was a story that I heard in the past about a high school swim team. While at practice, all the swimmers began coughing. Now that's pretty scary. Had difficulty breathing and become severe nauseous. Practice was canceled and all the swimmers were transported to a nearby hospital. Upon learning that ammonia had been used, causing the dangerous chlorine gases. Thankfully, none of the swimmers were seriously injured in the end. That is a scary predicament. So ammonia is often included in glass and other hard surface cleaners and can be irritating to the skin, eyes, throat, and lungs. It can also burn the skin and damage eyes, including blindness, upon contact. When ammonia enters the body as a result of breathing, swallowing, or skin contact, it reacts with water to produce ammonia hydroxide. This chemical is very damaging to cells in the body immediately. I know I mentioned this earlier, but children are also more at risk than adults as they are most likely to be, be exposed to ammonia versus household cleanser, cleaners. Without appropriate ventilation, the fumes create a very dangerous, especially for children with asthma or known respiratory problems. Now, that's pretty scary if you ask me. Don't you think that's pretty scary? So let's go over a couple more chemicals that really I'm alarmed by. Triploslin and triclay carbon are commonly added to household cleaner products such as hand soaps, dish soaps, and a broad range of other products ranging from toothpaste to socks. Now remember how, how much exposure kids have to these items. These chemicals are linked to hormone imbalances and potentially increase risk of breast cancer. Now, how scary is that? Okay, so it's so important when you're buying these products to read closely. What are you exposing your family to? 
nano silver can be incorporated into textiles, plastics, soaps, packaging, and other minerals, giving each the natural disinfected properties of silver, silver metal. Nano silver, on the other hand, can penetrate deep into your body and have been shown to be toxic to the liver and brain. That's scary. So a, another chemical that I want to go over is ammonia quad compound. So on the back, it might just say quad. So Q-U-A-T-S. So make sure you keep your eyes open for that. Are found in household cleaning products like disinfectant sprays and toilet cleaners and some having been identified as known inducers of, ready, occupational asthma. Contains quads have also been leaked to decrease fertility and birth defects in mice. So are we gonna keep our eyes open? I think it would be a great thing to do. It scares me. Green. I'm sure you have all heard the term, are you ready? Fragrance. Or read this as an ingredient in nearly all cleaning supplies. The term fragrance refers to any substance, either natural or man-made, which conveys an odor or scent. Any one fragment can be made up of potentially hundreds of different ingredients. So eliminates and in, indicates that between estimated between 80 to 90 percent of raw minerals used in cosmetics and cleaning fragments today are synthetic versus natural plant-based. So what are you putting on your face? What are you putting exposing your body to? When we use a fragrant product in our homes, we all inhale or absorb some of these toxic fragrant chemicals into our bodies. Chemicals like synthetic musk, for example, have been detected in blood, urine, and fat tissue in nearly every human tested. The levels of these chemicals in our bodies appear to be linked to the amount of fragrant products we used. For example, one study found that greater use of fragrant laundry detergent during pregnancy leads to significant higher levels of synthetic levels of musk in women's breast milk. And women can pass these chemicals on to their developing children when they are breastfeeding. Other studies found higher levels of musk in the blood of women who regularly use fragrant body lotion, detergents or perfumes. How many of us use those? And we just didn't know what we were exposing our bodies to or our kids' bodies to. So, women are at the most at high risk. Women are targeted by fragrance marketing since they tend to make the vast majority of household purchasing decisions, especially for cleaning products. As such, women are more likely than men to experience health effects from exposure to fragrances. Women are also more vulnerable to the potential hormonal disruptions effect of these fragrance ingredients, which often affect fertility and pregnancy. Exposure to even small levels of toxic fragrance chemicals during pregnancy may pose lifelong health impacts on our children. I am not trying to scare you, but it would be a disservice if I did not at least expose you to the potential damage of products in our homes. How to avoid harmful fragrance chemicals. By reducing exposures to fragrant chemicals, we can lessen the health impact and lower the levels of these chemicals in our body. So who's ready for this? As it 
as it currently stands, there is no legal requirements for cleaning products companies to disclose any ingredients. While some manufacturers voluntarily disclose some ingredients, very few are listed fragrance ingredients. That means that even if the ingredients are disclosed for the cleaning products, the word fragrance parentheses <laughs> may appear, but the individual chemicals which make up that fragrance will not be listed. Currently, the only potential situation is to reduce or completely avoid fragrance products entirely. This is simply an unfair choice. We must either abstain from the pressures of fragrance or assume potential high risk. Since I am extremely passionate about this topic, I am going to share with you some alternatives that will keep you safe your home clean and provide your mind at ease. So let's dig into some of the products that I use around my home to keep me safe and also my family safe. Vinegar is often used as a glass cleaner for windows cleaning due to its ability to produce a streak free shine. It is highly acidic, making it effective at destroying bacteria. Are we ready to use vinegar instead of that blue bottle? <laughs> Borax. Borax is a natural occurring powder substance and is often used as a water softener. It is also, it also makes an excellent laundry freshener. The chemical properties of Borax makes it a good clean, cleaner as well as a bleaching agent. So who's up for this one? Disinfectant with oils. <laughs> Let's go over some of my favorite oils. Okay, the use of doTERRA certified pure therapeutic grade essential oils puts the clean back into cleaning. Clean for our bodies, clean for the world we all live in. These oils are concentrated powerful oils found in nature, which can be added to these and other safe cleaning products to achieve the cleaning outcome we are looking for and are safe for even our youngest children to use. It doesn't take very many drops to create a powerful, safe, disinfectant clean, clean, cleanser with a beautiful fragrance, natural fragrance. Several essential oils of the oils that we're going to be talking about has a natural disinfectant property such as wild orange, orange guard, which is our immune builder, metaleuca, also known as tea tree, thyme, cinnamon, peppermint, purify, which is our cleansing blend, lime, geranium, rosemary, clove, oregano, lemon, grapefruit, lavender, frankincense, and many others. These oils limit the bacteria ability to grow or reproduce if it isn't killed completely. How incredible is that? Okay, so relax. Chemical-free household cleanser. In a large spray bottle, combine two drops of distilled, two cups of distilled water and a half a cup of white vinegar and 10 drops of lemon or any of the other citruses essential oil. I love to use lemon and wild orange just because I love the smell of both of those. It happens, things happen, okay? Disinfectant, add four drops of eucalyptus, four drops of lemon, two drops of bergamot. I absolutely love the smell of bergamot. I even love using it in my laundry. To a four ounce spray bottle of distilled water used to disinfect your hands, countertops, doorknobs, toilet seats, etc. Shake well before use. Kids absolutely love the, helping you around the house. You know, it's completely safe to have them exposed to this. So they can help you. Okay, destroy germs. We don't want anyone sick. So add 16 drops of CASA 
and 11 drops of grapefruit essential oil to an eight ounce glass spray bottle of distilled water. Spray around as much as you want to destroy germs and freshen a stale room. How incredible is that? Moving on. So you want a streak free environment? <laughs> Add 15 drops of one guard, six drops of lemon, to an eight ounce glass spray bottle of distilled water, shake and spray to disinfect countertops, toilet seats and doorknobs and etc. Whatever you can come up with. Okay, rotten food is no match for me. Is it a match for you? Do you wanna freshen the air? Add 15 drops of wild orange. I love using wild orange in the house because it's so uplifting and it's such a powerful antioxidant. And 15, I'm sorry, 15 drops of wild orange and peppermint, so 15 drops of each, to an eight ounce glass spray bottle of distilled water. And shake and spray all through your house. I love doing that on a day-to-day -day basis just because I love the smell of both of those together. So I'm a little OCD. So I like perfection around my house. You can't always have it because life gets crazy. But I like to make things shine and sparkle. Okay, so in order to do that, this is great for sinks, for tubs, countertops. Mix drops of lemon, lemongrass, peppermint, or wild orange essential oil with baking soda and enough water to make like a paste. Store the cleanser in a glass jar because essential oils are so powerful it will break down plastic. Scoop out the cleanser with your hands as needed and scrub and wipe down as usual with a soft scrubbing brush. It works great. Are we ready to try that? So this is one of my favorite because I love using as adding essential oils to my laundry. Make your laundry smell great. To disinfect, freshen laundry or kill dust mites, add approximately six drops of eucalyptus, lemon or purify on a washcloth. Also put a few drops of essential oil on a clean, wet wash rag, or if you have the dryer balls, and add to the dryer to lightly scent clothes. Your clothes will smell incredible, and it's more natural. So we just went through Thanksgiving, and if you're like me, we cook a lot. So if you spill anything in that oven, here's a great way to clean your oven. Simple and get away from those harmful chemicals. And you know, the, the self-cleaning ovens, I unfortunately made the mistake of using it like one time and there's a little tiny thermostat in there. And because the heat, they, the repair guy told me because the heat is so high and so powerful, um, because the temperatures get so high to get everything off the sides that it can easily destroy that thermostat because it's so fragile. So me personally, I will, I will not use that again. I will more use my essential oils. So this is what I love to do. I love to do like a couple of different things. So add 15 drops of lemon essential oil to a spray bottle and fill with water. Spray over the whole inside of your dirty oven. Remember, shake it before you spray it. Then shake like three or four cups of baking soda on the inside of the oven, thickly coated, even getting it onto the racks. Then spray again with your lemon water, shake. And so barely mist the baking soda and then close the door. Wait overnight, the next day, wipe everything down with a damp towel or sponge getting every of the grime and everything off, remove. And then one last time, spray the inside with the lemon water for a final touch. You will be amazed and the delight and how well it's safe and simple method of cleaning works and the results you will get. 
I also like using our on guard. I mean, if you have some really tough stains, I also like using the on guard concentrating cleanser. It works fabulous. And then I like spraying the lemon water after that. And plus the on guard is our immune builder. So it really gets the cleaning service and disinfect everything nicely. It's absolutely fabulous. Uh, yeah, <laughs> who loves to clean that toilet? Okay, sprinkle baking soda and one to two drops of lemon essential oil in the toilet bowl. Spray down the toilet seat and bowl, etc., with your disinfectant sanitizing spray that we went over earlier. Clean and wipe down as usual. So, let's make our furniture shine. In a large spray bottle, combine one cup of distilled water, one cup of the fractionated coconut oil, which won't harden, that's what the fractionated coconut oil is, and 15 drops of lemon or wild or essential oil. I kind of like using both of those combined just because I love the smell. Shake well and spray on furniture and use a soft rag to wipe down. Chemical free clean. Sparkle. It's absolutely amazing natural wonderful how many of us have hardwood floors that we want to clean and we want to clean them more natural and get them sparkly add about one fourth cup of white vinegar and up to 10 drops of essential oils use some of your favorites that's really going to clean the floors such as lavender lemon peppermint and wild orange to a bucket of hot water and clean the hardwood surface floors. I like using the wild orange, and then I also love adding our Arborvitae to that. And we just had a special, the BOGO week on the Arborvitae, it's absolutely wonderful. So those are the two oils that I love adding together to clean my hardwood floors. So how many of us have carpets that we really want a natural cleanse, cleaning product for our carpets? Okay, stir 20 drops of fresh smelling essential oil, such as lemon, peppermint, wild orange, to a cup of baking soda. Place the baking, the soda in a covered container overnight so that the oils will be absorbed, because you want the oils absorbed into the baking soda. Then lightly sprinkle the soda on the carpet before vacuuming. Incredible. Okay, so how many of us have hot tubs and saunas? I'm fortunate enough to have those. I'm going to give you a disinfectant for, the, for those hot tubs and sauna. For the hot tub, add three drops of eucalyptus, lemon, thyme per person in the water. How incredible is that? For saunas, add eight to 10 drops of rosemary, lavender, and thyme essential oil to a bottle filled with one part water and one part white vinegar. It is perfect for the, the pH and spray down. Are you ready to try that one? Okay, so how many of us have mold we wanna get rid of? We don't want that mold around our house in case we're unfortunate enough to have any of that exposure. Spray mold or mildew with straight vinegar. Then wipe it down with a damp cloth sprinkled with straight metaleuca lemon grapefruit essential oil. Leave alone for a half an hour to an hour, then rinse off. Goodbye, mole. Bye-bye, mole. <laughs> okay, cleaning produce. How many of us want a more natural way to clean produce? Plug your, your kitchen sink up. Fill with cool water about four to six drops of lemon essential oil, one spoonful of baking soda, add produce, making sure that they're all covered in the water and soak for about 20 minutes. Now, if you have soft produce like strawberries, they only need to be soaked for 10 minutes. Okay, one last one. The key of essential oils is to start thinking about them regularly. Many of us, myself included, have been so conditioned to reach for that blue window spray, fragrance filled detergent, dishwashing soap, and hand 
So how many of us reach for those hand, hand, uh, hand sanitizers? But when you uh, open your mind to these DIY cleaning products that are safe and effective, you will notice a satisfying difference in your home. Are we ready to open up our minds and make that change? So now what? So if anyone told you about this webinar, I want to encourage that's already in doTERRA essential oil and has been talking to you about it. I want to encourage you to go back to them and have them help you in your journey to essential oil. I will be here to always educate anyone. It's in doTERRA, we're all about, we're just a huge family, we're all about love. So I want to encourage you to go back to them and they will help you get enrolled and start earning and getting these amazing products. And if you don't have someone to really guide you in your journey, I'm here to do that for you. So please contact me and I will help you get a wholesale account. There's no obligations whatsoever. We can get a wholesale account and I will help you pick out the, the right enrollment kit for you because if you pick out our enrollment kit, they will waive the $35. So you will actually have the ability to start getting these products anywhere from 25 to 55% off retail. How incredible is that? So please contact me and I will teach you on your journey and help you get started on doTERRA essential oils. I can be contacted at Jody at clinicalmassageoffice.com or I'll also be posting my website in this video in the notes as well. So I hope you enjoyed this webinar and I hope you're ready to try these amazing products and get these you know, harmful chemicals away from people more, you know, more of a natural approach. So until next time, have a great evening. Bye.